Hello folks, this is Mr. Messerman with the fourth quarter flipped classroom vodcast, the music of waters. Target number two, I can observe and describe stream erosion. So, can you see signs of erosion in this picture? We have Hellgate Canyon and we have a deep canyon cut by a river. And the scenes you're about to see are right there where the arrow is pointing. How about here? Another deep canyon. The waterfall. Erosion is all about energy. It's about the energy of moving wind or water or waves or ice or even just gravity. Erosion is defined as the movement of particles of rock by any of these forces. Here we have water that's moving and it's carrying things with it. You can see that this water isn't perfectly clear. That means it has a little bit of silt and clay floating with it and other small particles. I would call that a medium to low energy stream. But in this picture you see a very high energy stream with a waterfall that can rip away boulders, carry really large rocks downstream. So here we are back along the Clark Fork River in Hellgate Canyon. And when we look at a river like this, we look for signs of erosion. And on the right side of the river, in this scene, we see a steep bank. That's called a cut bank, and it's formed where the river is swinging around the outside of a curve. And when it goes around the outside, it goes faster, has more energy, and carries more particles. Now, what about this? This is a snapshot of the Bitterroot River. Look at all those channels that have been carved by the motion of the river. All right, let's review. Erosion, the movement of sediments by the energy of wind, water, ice, or gravity. Let's see if we can look at this in two different ways. First, let's talk about the energy of a stream, and then we'll talk about the particle size of the particles being carried. Now, for energy, we can have high energy, low energy, or zero energy. High energy would be considered a headwater stream, a stream high in the mountains, moving fast. Low energy streams, big, slow rivers. And zero energy would be a pool, like a lake or the ocean. Now for particle size, we can have large particles like boulders and cobbles and pebbles. We can have medium-sized particles like sand or small particles like silt and clay. But there's also microscopic particles like molecules. Okay, a couple other considerations. First, some other terms. Large particles we call coarse grain particles. Medium and small particles are called fine. The large and medium sand and boulders and cobbles in a stream are part of what we call the bed load of a stream. These are particles that move along the bottom of the river. They kind of slide and bounce and roll. Whereas the fine materials are part of the suspended load. They float in the water. The microscopic particles are part of the dissolved load. Now the bed load is moved in the fast-moving high-energy water. Now the small particles get carried by even slow water. And the dissolved particles can be carried when there's no energy at all in the pool or the ocean, the lake or the ocean, where the water's not moving at all. Okay, to sum up, Large particles like 
boulders and cobbles won't move unless they have high energy water to move them. Small particles like sand and clay can move with slower water and the microscopic particles they stay in the water no matter what it's doing. Alright, thanks for watching and enjoy digging in those stream tables.